What's up guys, this is Fritz and this is my tutorial for the, uh, I guess we can call them skylight rays or I don't know what to call them. Um, but basically it's, as you can see here, uh, we've got a wonderful man by the name of Phase 4 scoping up and he's going to kill a guy. And as you can see we've got these cool light things coming from the top. And uh, there is CC in this clip obviously, if I turn it off it looks like this, a little bit more clear, you can see him goes boom and they react with everything in the environment so you can see here they're reacting with that little thing on the sniper scope and it's pretty cool so let me show you how to do this so we're just gonna leave the cc off for now we'll just leave that or ignore this adjustment there or I'll, you know what i'll just delete it so we cut our clip here and uh we just scopes in and scopes out with the kill what we're gonna do is well first off we want to duplicate the layer c v control c control v and we're going to go to the frame where he scopes out, which would be right here. You can see in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And we're going to split it. Control, beginning bracket. And that's the one that's like a rectangle. So what we want to do now is just leave it here. We're not going to move it in the timeline at all. You can see it scopes out. I can't even notice. We're going to make sure we have the top layer selected. In fact, we're going to rename this top layer rays like that so now what we're gonna do is go to our effects and presets tab and look up threshold threshold just a plain one not cc just plain and we're gonna get all comic booky black and white like retro we're gonna change the level to about 150 it really depends on your clip um you can see it just you know reacts to whatever reacts reacts to the brightness on certain parts but for me uh how about 100 and, i don't know we'll just play with it for a second that's right right about there is good because uh, the goal here is to make the sky portion as white as it can and everything else as black as it can. And in my case here, you can see we've got like white stuff down here, white stuff over here. We can just grab this pen tool and just kind of mask out this area. Now, of course, if your whole sky is white, you're just going to, you know, obviously mask out the whole thing. But for me, it's just this corner here. So I'm just going to mask out that corner. So now if we click away, go back to our uh, arrow tool. You can see we've got a white area, and it's, it's still uh, matched with everything else. It's just black and white. Now what we want to do is change this layer mode to add. So you should have this thing here. If not, hit toggle switch in modes until you can see mode. Change it to add. Boom, we've got a white thing. You can't really tell there's a difference, except for that it's ugly. What we want to do is make it all ray -y and cool. So we're going to look up radial blur. Uh, you're going to want CC radial fast blur. It's the only one that works. Um, let me just show you. If you use like, um, like I don't know, plain radio blur, and turn it on, and you know, put it out the right thing, it just stops like at the thing. Like we've got ugly lines and stuff. We don't want that. The only way to make this work successfully is to put on CC radio fast blur. Not on that layer. On the layer with the uh, threshold, and we're gonna drag it up to the corner somewhere in the area like probably preferably in the middle of where your sky is and we're going to change the amount up to like 90 we'll go 95 you can see here we've got some nice rays and they react with everything in the environment um this map wasn't the best necessarily example but you can see what i mean with this uh stuff on the scope here it's really 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 cool and uh it's also reacting with the trees and stuff believe it or not so let me show you how to keyframe it real quick. Obviously, you're just going to keyframe the amount, go over however far you need to go, change it to about 50. 50 is about the minimum, I would say, for it. And even then, it's a little bit high. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of cut off. You'd have to keyframe a little bit more of the masking, but for the most part, it works out very nicely. Uh, to keyframe the masking, obviously, you're just going to go to here, mask, mask one, keyframe the shape, click somewhere else, and you can change the points according to what you need to do so that way the whole thing's shiny but if the if you don't mask it you get like radio blur over here and radio blur over there you just want it to be in the immediate area that you need it so to sum things up you just duplicate the layer set it to add add threshold and radio blur and boom you should have it keyframe it so hope you guys enjoyed um if you have any suggestions for tutorials uh hit me up in the comments down below and yeah that's about it also i updated the uh, fritz store so i got uh cc's and presets and stuff on sale there from all of my edits if you're interested or you know even if you just have an effect in mind you want to learn i can just send you a preset real quick and yeah link for that's in the description also follow me on twitter and facebook uh, because that's a nice thing to do
I'm Fritz. I'm out. Peace.